Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Are you tired of juggling a million tabs, copying and pasting data, and spending hours on repetitive online tasks? What if your browser could do all of that for you? Today we're talking about a new browser that's making some serious webs and promising to kill Chrome for good. It's called Play. And it doesn't just search, it acts. Hello isn't just another browser with an AI chatbot slapped on it. It's been called the world's first editing AI browser. Think of it less as tall and more as digital code worker. While Chrome just retrieves and displays content, Hello's intelligent agents go a step further. They can understand your intent and autonomously execute complex workflows across multiple websites and applications. This is deep action automation. Instead of you manually clicking, typing, and switching tabs, Flow handles it all. Webson reports that it can perform tasks up to 5.2 times faster doing them manually and reduces user effort by whopping 94%. In some tests, it completed tasks in under 4 minutes that would take over air tools like OpenAI, Deep Research, or Perplexity up to 8 minutes. It's a significant leap in productivity. So what makes Paleo so different? Deep action automation. You give it a natural language command and it breaks it down into actionable steps. It can log into password protected sites, analyze data, and perform a serious tasks without you lifting a finger. This is a game changer. Flow runs all these complex tasks in virtual background windows, so you can keep browsers working on something else without any interruptions. It's like having a silent assistant working behind the scene. Flow reads and compares web pages like a human. It understands the context of what you're doing, making its actions more precise and relevant. It can even generate reports and articles for you based on the content it finds. The developers emphasize that all processing happens locally on a machine by default. Your login data is secure with AES T56 encryption, so you're not at risk of password breaches. Flow is compatible with both Mac and Windows, and it's designed for anyone who deals with repetitive digital tasks, from marketers and researchers to content creators and entrepreneurs. It's not just a browser, it's a new way to interact with the internet. So is this the end of Chrome's reign? The rise of identity browser is definitely shaking things up. We're seeing a fundamental shift from passive browsing experience to an active, autonomous one. What do you think? Is this the future of the internet? Would you make the switch? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more cutting edge take on it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.